Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. On today's video we are going to be talking about flange size and clogs. So first let's start with flange size. Keep in mind I'm not a lactation consultant, I'm not a medical professional and these are strictly my opinions, what I've seen work for me and what works best for me. So let's talk about flange size. So on your flange they come in a multitude of sizes the Medella flanges range anywhere from a 21 up to a 36. Mayo Mom makes them anywhere down from a 15 millimeter up to a 36. And depending on what brand of pump you have depends on what sizes they come in. For instance, Medella has a 27, Spectre has a 28. They're all going to be a little bit different, but they're roughly about the same. So you can read online all these people that tell you to measure your nipple to see how many millimeters it is to see what size flange you need, forget all of that because none of it actually works. What you need is trial and error. So this is a basic flange. And the part that goes around your nipple is this inner cylinder right here. You do not want your nipple to rub along the edges here. You don't want it to hit the back here you want it to freely flow in the center back and forth to get the best out of your milk. You do not want too much areola pulled in. You do not want not enough nipple. Um, pumping should be comfortable. So if your flange is uncomfortable, chances are you either need to size up or size down. If you join um, a couple Facebook pages that I belong to, I'll post the links below. A administrator will be more than happy to help you flange size if you send her videos and pictures. So now that we've talked about that, let's talk about clogs because they suck. If you are an exclusive pumping mom, you know that clogs happen. Clogs lead to mastitis, which is an infection inside your milk, uh, milk glands. It's not happy. You got to take antibiotics. It's just horrible. So everything stems from a clog. If you catch a clog early on, it can prevent mastitis. I can tell you that I've had about three clogs and I was able to work them out without having to go to a doctor and it's really easy to do if you know what you are doing. So there are a few products that I recommend. I strongly recommend that you get yourself a pair of these slip covers by Mother Modest. You can soak them in water, freeze them, you can soak them in water and put them in the microwave, boil them in a pot of water to heat them up. They simply just slide over your breast and it is a comfort to just get a little bit of heat or cool to your boob while you are pumping and it actually um, doubles as a hands-free pump bra. You can put this inside of any nursing bra and the flange will actually stay right here in the centerpiece here. You can get them for about $10.99 off of her website. She has launched and she is on Amazon as well. Again, I will post all those links below, but I'll tell you what, Mother Modest, they're the best. Another thing, now many other companies make them. I personally have the Lansano ones. They are these therapeutic pearls that you can either microwave, you can put them in the freezer. Um, I recommend that if you are going to be exclusively pumping, do yourself a favor. Splurge. Buy two sets of these. Keep one in the freezer. Keep one in your t um, pumping area to pop into the microwave when you get a clog. They come with these little slip covers here as well. And after you heat them or cool them, you just place them in here. They go in and snap. And this is what they look like when they're in their cover. And there's this little snap here. Then you could just place them right around your boob. Your nipple goes right through here. You can actually even, if you want, place them around your flange and then pump and that heat still gets to your breast while you're pumping to help work that clog out. Another thing you can do to get rid of a clog is to soak in a hot bath with your chest submerged under the hot water and just hand express. Now as an exclusively pumping mother you know that wasting milk is dreadful. However, I have gotten my clogs out a lot by that. Sit in the hot bathtub, relax for a little bit, and then just hand express what you can. Work that knot out until it is gone. If for some reason that does not work, 
I have heard of moms who have hard time hand expressing. Get yourself a mini vibrator from your local adult store and use it to just massage around the breast or they actually make a massager now and I'll post the link below. I have not tried it so I'm not going to review it. Um, I'll post the link below though if you'd rather try it yourself and it just helps work out the clogs and the, you know, the knots in there. And then um, there are also some herbal supplements that you can use um, to help you know thin out your milk so it doesn't happen if you have reoccurring clogs you can use it it's called sunflower lassithin I believe it's how it's pronounced I'm not sure I will post the link below to what that is as well if for some reason you have a clog and after a day or two it does not go away call your doctor it will become mastitis if it goes on if it goes Call your doctor if it does not go away in a couple days. If you do not get rid of a clog, it can become mastitis, which is very uncomfortable. It's an infection. You do not want it. If you get mastitis, you need to call your doctor immediately to be put on antibiotics. If you like my video, please like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.